Hello everyone, my name is Sean. I am the owner and inventor of Silly Gloves. I'm doing this short video to show you how to take care of and how to clean your Silly Gloves. So first off, if you don't know what Silly Gloves are, they are non-stick silicone gloves meant for the cannabis industry so you don't have to waste latex gloves all day. So the first thing I wanna go over is, there's a lot of people when they put these gloves on, they try to put them on like they're latex gloves. And the problem with latex gloves is when you go to put them on and you snap them like that, um, you could potentially rip the silly gloves. The silly gloves are sewn around the area. So you want to make sure that you put them on gently. So normally what I tell people is when you get them, put them on. Then when you get to a point, just kind of take your fingers, put them in between the webs of your fingers and get them down. That will ensure that your silly gloves last a nice long time. Uh, another thing I wanted to go over is cleaning Silly Gloves. Uh, silly Gloves can be very easily cleaned with rubbing alcohol. The only thing is you want to make sure that you use no higher than a 75% rubbing alcohol. Higher rubbing alcohols um, are a little more caustic and they will uh, put extra wear on the silicone. So basically when you go to clean these gloves, it's really easy. You just take them. I like to put them in a spray bottle and give it a spray. I let it sit for about 10 or 15 seconds. <clears throat> if there's a bunch of stuff on it, you gotta get it off. You can always let it sit for a little longer or do it more than once. So after I let it sit for about 10 or 15 seconds, I just take a paper towel, a, a uh, yeah, paper towel, and I just wipe it on off until everything's nice and clean. And then another thing that I like to suggest, especially if you are working with concentrates, um, packaging, making concentrates, Another thing that's a really good tool to have is a lint roller. Uh, a lot of times you'll get these little tiny spots of, of fabric or other things that might stay on here. So I'll just take the lint roller after I'm done with the rubbing alcohol and I just roll it over the top nice and gently. Try to get the sides, all the areas, just to make sure you have yourself a nice clean base to work with. Um, the other important thing, like I said, is make sure that you use a rubbing alcohol that is no more than 70% and only use rubbing alcohol. You can't use other solvents. Um, you don't want to use other solvents because the gloves will not last very long like that. Um, yeah. So again, only use a 70% alcohol. Uh, your best bet is to try to either buy one that you know doesn't have any additives or if you're at a facility and you already have 99, just take it and uh, cut it with water until you get to 